Uh, okay. What um, the fuck was that dazed look on his face? What dazed look? It's a perfect look. <laughs> just little things. <laughs> I'm like right now. I'm just like I'm just like like laser locked into just his like open his, thousand yards stare. His facial expression. Oh my god. You know what I was thinking with this? Everybody was talking about a riding candidate for a Smash Bros. ballot. Why didn't anybody do any SpongeBob characters? Because that would have been sick. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> I'm running. I'm gonna make it. Run, Patrick, run. We have to make it before this this beam does the thing. I made it. I'm hey, amazing. The beam at, didn't do the thing. I'm amazing at platforming. What can I say? Get out of your hammer, guy. But yeah. Oh crap! Crap! I, I just saw that hammer guy again. Uh oh. I need to get up there, so I'm gonna see if I can uh, do this to get the sock. I'm sure there's gotta be a sock over here. I haven't gotten a sock in a while, so I kind of really want to get a sock, but yeah. So anyway, Pat, how's your day been going? I realized after all these videos that we made, I never asked how your day was going. I took a test today. Did you? Yeah. D it took a test in what? Statistics. Um, statistics are boring as fuck. Well, yeah, because you already took stats. But you know why statistics are important? Why are statistics important? Because then you, you can learn how to hustle people out of money. That's very true. It also I, helps uh, with blackjack. I, uh... What? A little fun story for, for the video here. I, I, uh... Start off with a fun one. Uh, in my free time, when I'm back at home and not oh recording, and, you know, in Milwaukee... I like to go to bars and hustle people out of money with dice. That's a good way to do it. Oh, wait, are you talking about that, uh, what is it, that liar's dice thing? Yeah, but this this is this is a lot simpler than that. So, uh, okay. So here's what you do. I'm gonna, I'll let, you, I'll let all our viewers in on a little secret. You right. wanna make some free money. All right, free money, this is the free money episode. You go to a bar. Okay. Or any, any place where you can play dice, but preferably a bar, because people have been drinking and they're a little more gullible. Okay. You just walk up, and you just like bring your dice or ask the bartender for the dice, and you'd be like, hey, you and me, let's play a game, very simple game. Okay. We're just gonna roll five dice, and if the total is above 15, say I win. If it's below 15, you win. Okay. And it sounds fair, right? Well, on the, on the surface, it sounds fair, because it's like, oh, the max roll is 30. 15's right in the middle, right? Well, no, you'd have a, you'd have more of a chance of right. being three, four, like four. What is it? Four, five, and six. So technically, the odds are in your favor. Right. Okay. But if no one, if people are dumb, that's the way they're gonna think. Is like, oh, 30, 15's right in the middle. You know. All right. But then it's like, like, you'll, you have like a 90, like, I don't remember exactly, but it's somewhere around a 90% chance of you, you'll win the roll every time. Yeah, okay. So I got one guy so pissed off that I kept winning. He was like, yeah. fuck it, $50 on this roll. $50? Did yep. you do it? I won. Oh, nice. absolutely. Also, on a side note, I'm facing the King Jellyfish right Whoa, now. Holy shit, I missed this because I was telling that story. No, nah, that's fine. No, I, I like the story. I mean, Whoa. it's a good way. It's the, it's the free money. Free money, free jellyfish. Why is his Oh, crap, they're doing the blue ones. You know the blue one, the one that was like the more powerful of the jellyfish? Yeah, and he had the blue jelly. Uh, jelly filled with jellyfish jelly. Oh, crap, I'm an um, idiot. Have, did you also, like, as a child, did you also want, like, a peanut butter and jellyfish jelly sandwich? I actually didn't. Oh, I did. I oh. feel like it would be cool, but I actually didn't, surprisingly. But no, this boss is extremely easy. It's the first boss, so yeah. It's extremely easy. That's it. I hit him three times um, with the bubble wand, and the jellyfish king is done. Oh, but I love this, though. So. Ready for this? All right, I'm ready. Ready for this? So he's taking a shower. <laughs> it was sitting behind there the whole time. He packs a suitcase and leaves. Oh, my God. That's literally it. And so I was just like, okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Um. All right, yeah, sorry. An uh, another thing. The um, odds. When I was, uh, well, we're pretty much done with the dice shit, but. Yeah. Um. When I was a child. Yes. I was not a big fan of, um, like, uh, like meat and chicken and shit. All I would eat was, like, 
mac and cheese and fruit. Like, that was my diet until I was, like, okay. seven years old, right? All right. I missed that, by the way. I missed that jump completely. I saw Hans the Hond. Hans the Hond. Okay, so, um, yeah, you didn't like so, meat chicken Yeah, shit. so, like, I was I was a very picky eater, right? Okay. And Spon the, there was one episode of Spongebob. You know the episode where he is, like, the new employee and he learns, and, and it's the whole, like... It's all like the training video. Oh, the uh, Crusty Crab training video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, that part where they where they talk about. Um, all right, that was weird. <laughs> oh, the part in that in that episode where they talk and they show like a picture of the Krabby Patty and explain like what's on it. Yeah. Just for whatever reason, when I saw that episode when I was like seven years old. Yeah. I was like, Dad, can we go to McDonald's? I want to eat a hamburger. <laughs> and then after that, now all I ever eat is McDonald's, and now I'm gonna die by f by thirty. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Like so, SpongeBob gave me death. SpongeBob gave <laughs> you death. Free money and death. But yeah, no. Uh, what was it? Oh wait, I didn't talk to Larry. Dude, look, it's Eric over here. Oh, dude! I love Larry the Lobster. Dude, Larry is like a jerk on this one. Just wait till we get to Sand Mountain. It's amazing. But no, Jellyfish Fields is always, like, a really fun one to start off. Like, you know, sometimes, at least in, okay, in Super Mario 64, because this game is very, it's set up a, a, very close to the same way, around, like, around this game. Yeah. Basically, you get golden spatulas, golden spatulas allow you to go to different doors, I mean, different worlds and whatnot. But when I was playing, like, Super Mario 64, like, as a kid, mm -hmm. it was, again, still crazy fun, but the first level, Bob on Battlefield, it was not one of the ones, like, did I get all of them? Yeah, I got all of them. I didn't get all the socks though. I can't get all the socks yet though, so I might just go back here later. But yeah, so I never. Re okay, me, this again, this is just me, but when I was playing the game, I thought the first couple levels were kind of boring. It wasn't until like Jolly Roger Bay where I was like, oh my god, this is this is so much fun. I wanna I wanna keep playing this game, stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, I love this. Ready for this? What's up? The one you're standing on. It's lost. <laughs> oh my god. Where are your other socks? <laughs> oh my god. Still has whole sock collection. I love that they're like... <laughs> I love that they're like self-aware of the bullshit. Like, the sock is standing right in front of you. I'll give you a golden turkey baster. <laughs> oh my god. You mean spatula? Bless you. <laughs> I love that. Time for Google again. Patrick, your genius is showing. Where? But yeah, that's one of the things I like it. And also in this one, you can't get all the golden spatulas in downtown Bikini Bottom yet, so I'm just gonna go to Google again. Gotcha. Genius, right? I'm, yep. I'm just that that freaking smart. But yeah. Another thing that I loved about this is again, you'll see, I'll point it out when we're here, but there's certain things in Google Lagoon that I love. I'm sorry I had to skip over the narration of them explaining Google Lagoon. But yeah, Goo Lagoon is uh, another one. Oh yeah, so, sorry, back to what I was saying. With like Super Mario 64 and whatnot, the first level, I didn't think was that fun. But Jellyfish Fields, so much fun as a first level. Like SpongeBob, some of them, okay. In Super Mario, um, in Super Mario uh, 64, I always thought the best levels were at the end. Mm -hmm. Like, not the very end, but like near the end, like Tall Tall Mountain, um, the uh, Tall Tall Mountain, what else is there? Like the, what is it, Jelly, or no. I'm trying to think of the other ones now. I can't think of them. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you any of the level names. But yeah. But okay, it's like after you beat Bowser for the second time. Yeah. So those were the ones that I loved doing. And the ones that I would always look forward to. Like the one where like after, where you'd have to have like, after you beat the 30 star Bowser. Mm -hmm. and, that, and those were the ones that I would look forward to. So in the beginning, it would kind of just like, take a while for me to start off doing it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the things that I didn't like about this one. This one starts off with like, Goo Lagoon and uh, Goo Lagoon and Jellyfish Fields, and those, in my opinion, just, in my opinion, actually make it compete as a game. I still think Super Mario, like, 64 is a better game overall, Yeah. but I feel like it can compete because of that. They'll stay there and protect the babes. <laughs> <laughs> that a boy! Isn't yeah. it awesome? Are you ready for this? Ready for this? Ready for the other character that you can be? Well, oh. just kidding. You can be Sandy, but I was like, yeah, we've been Patrick before. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I messed that one up. But yeah, you can be you can be Sandy, but I did pick the level where you can be Sandy. You can be Sandy in Downtown Bikini Bottom. Gotcha. So yeah, I messed up on that one. Mobby. Way to go. Hammer, I get it. But yeah, tis tis pretty cool stuff. It's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's, you know what I'm saying. Oh wait, I have to be Patrick for this. Dang it! I have to go back and get Patrick. God dang it. God dang it. I have to go all the way back here, go to the bus stop, and get Patrick. You dingus. Such a dingus, man. Do you remember the episode of Spongebob where there were parents? They were gay parents. <laughs> What was it, wait? What was it? What, what was the show that was supposed to be? Uh, that was supposed to be that they're gay. Wasn't that a Ernie and Bert or something? Yeah, yeah, from uh, Sesame Street. That, that's that's what it was. Bert and Ernie. Bert and Ernie. Oh, that's where they are. Hovering towels, because that makes sense. Doesn't it make perfect sense, Dude, Pat? Bert and Ernie were like, oh my god. I don't I don't know what that means. I didn't I don't don't remember much of that from my childhood. Like, oh. what? Ernie was like such a sarcastic asshole. Really? Oh my god, he was the best. It was literally my favorite thing. So he was he he would always be like, um, oh I'm trying to think of the I'm trying to think of the the, the my favorite one. All right. I don't remember the exact like phrasing or the exact situation, but it was just like basically something along the lines of. Um, Oh fuck! I just remember it. All I remember is Ernie saying, "No, you look look with your eyes," or some stupid shit. <laughs> Best story yeah, ever. I ten know. out of ten. I forget. I don't remember. Tell it again at a bar. Yeah, we'll just I'll just get really drunk and then tell it, and it'll be flawless because no one will kick. You're just you're just gonna go to a bar and they're getting you're gonna be like Ernie and Bert. He was like look that. Look with your eyes. Look with your eye. <laughs> My bread. My bread. Look, look with your special eyes. My brand! Alright, I'm gonna have to go get Spongebob for this, because Patrick, you got your- you got the sock, but besides that, maybe you shouldn't have lost your fucking sock in your first place. What a fucking amateur. What a fucking scrub, am I right? But in all reality, now that we're back with Spongebob, I think we should continue this in the next video. What do you think? I think that's a good idea, because we're, we're out of time. What are you gonna say? We're- we're out- we're, we're out of time. We're, we're out of time. Work, 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 work. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's done!